Hello, and welcome to today's show called It's the Bible Trivia Show. I'm your host, Alan Wegener. Well, my TV audience out there might be asking themselves this question, what is the Bible Trivia Quiz Show? Well, it's a quiz show uh, to test your knowledge for those of you who go to church on Sunday morning to listen to your preacher preach from the Bible, or for you Bible college students around this area who are taking Bible classes um, at that school and learning about the Bible there. And this is a test of your knowledge of how long you know the Bible. But before we begin today's quiz show, um, I'd like to recommend or suggest three good tools for the students of the Bible uh, that will help you to enhance the study of uh, God's Word a little bit more. And then these three tools are this. The first one is you need to have a good concordance, a Bible concordance. Uh, concordance is uh, made up of both the Hebrew words and the Greek words. The Old Testament is written in the uh, Hebrew words and the New Testament is written in the Greek language. So you come across a word in the NSA in the Old Testament you don't quite understand, you can go to the concordance, look up that Hebrew word, and it'll usually give you an in-depth meaning of what that word actually means. The second two I highly recommend for my TV viewing audience out there is a good Bible dictionary. Uh, Bible dictionary again is like a course that gives you an in-depth uh, meaning and definition of the word um, and sometimes it'll show you pictures or maps of something that you might be looking up of something in the New Testament and you want to see what it means it'll go more in depth sometimes and it'll help you enhance the study of your Bible. The third two I highly recommend is a good Bible atlas. Now a lot of us in the back of our Bibles will have, for instance, a good Bible map, which is not the greatest in the world, but you know, gives you an idea of what Israel looked like in the, in the time when Jesus was living, or Paul's missionary journeys and where he went. So for instance, you want to know uh, where um, Bethlehem is, where Jesus was born. Well, you look on the map here, and you see right here, it shows that Bethlehem is just south of Jerusalem. And so now you have an idea in your mind's eyes where Jesus was born <coughs> in Bethlehem. So with that brief introduction to today's uh, Bible Trivia Quiz Show, get yourself a nice warm cup of coffee. Sit down in your easy chair, get your writing utensil, notebook, take notes. And we'll begin with today's quiz show with question number one. Where did the Judge Samson meet Delilah? Uh, the harlot and the, and the Philistines wanted Delilah to get the secret of Samson's strength. Meet at column. And we'll begin with question number one. Where did the Judge Samson meet Delilah and the Philistines wanted Delilah to get the secret of Samson's strength at called? A. Endor B. Samaria C. Gaza or D. Bethlehem Well, the answer to that one is C. Um, it is and is at the city of Gaza, located in the southwest part of Israel, where Samson met Delilah. See Judges chapter 16. And on the TV screen for my viewing audience out there, there is a map and location of where the city is located. Question number two. What was the body of water name that Jesus walked on called? A. The Dead Sea? B, the Great Sea, C, the Red Sea, or D, the Sea of Galilee? Well, the answer to that one is D. Uh, C, Matthew 14, 25. It was the Sea of Galilee that Jesus walked on as he approached his disciples who were in the boat and had gone on before him. The Bible says, 
And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them, walking down the sea. And on the TV screen for my viewing audience again, there's a map of where the Sea of Galilee is and some pictures of it today. Question number three. Who was the prophet that was thrown into the lion's den for praying at his window towards Jerusalem against the law that was passed against it? What was his name? A. Ezekiel B. Jonah C. Daniel or D. Moses Well, the answer to that one is C. It was the prophet Daniel who was thrown into the lion's den for continuing uh, his practice of praying at his window towards Jerusalem. The Bible says, Then said Daniel unto the king, O king, live forever. My God has sent his angel and has shut the lion's mouth, that they have not hurt me. For as much before him innocency was found in me, and also before thee, O king, I have done no, no wrong. See Daniel 6, 21, 22. Question number four. Where was Jesus, the Messiah, born at? A. Jericho B. Nazareth C. Jerusalem or D. Bethlehem Well, the answer to that one is D. Uh, C. Luke 2.17 uh, The city where Jesus, the Messiah, was born at is called Bethlehem. It is located about six miles south uh, west of Jerusalem. The Bible says this, And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let's now go even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which is come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And on the uh, uh, TV screen again for my uh, viewing audience out there, there's a picture of the map of where Bethlehem is located. Question number five. Where was the man Job, who was perfect and upright, and one that feared God and eschewed evil, from? A. The Garden of Eden. B. The Land of Judah. C, the land of Uz, or D, Babylon? Well, the answer to that one is C. Job, uh, who eventually was tested by Satan nor the devil, had lived in the land of Uz. Uh, the Bible says, There was a man in the land of Uz whose name was Job, and that man was perfect, upright, and one that feared God, and in shewing evil. Uh, C. Job 1.1. 1, 1. Uz is considered to be located in uh, the land of Edom. And on the TV screen again from my viewing audience, there's a map and location of where Edom is located. Question number six. Where did Abraham or Abraham leave his home, homeland to journey to the land of Canaan come from? A. Babylon. B. Assyria, C. Haran, or D. Egypt? Well, the answer to that one is C. Abraham was 75 years old when his father died in Haran, and he left Haran to Canaan. See Genesis 11, 28, 12, and 4. And on the TV screen for my viewing audience, there's a map where Abraham left Ur and then left from Haran after his father died. Question number 7. 
Who did God make this statement to? Behold, all souls are mine. The soul of the Father's soul also the soul of the Son is mine. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. A. Joshua B. Daniel C. Ezekiel or D. Jeremiah Well, the answer to that one is C. C. Ezekiel 18.4 it is the prophet Ezekiel for which God made this particular statement to. Question number eight. What was the name of the mountain that Noah's Ark came to rest on after the great flood had ended? A. Mount Sinai B. Mount Carmel C. Mount Rushmore or D, Mount Ararat? Well, the answer to that one is D. It was the mountain called Ararat where Noah's Ark finally came to rest at after the great flood. The Bible says, And the ark uh, rested in the seventh month on the seventeenth day of the month upon the mountain of Ararat. See Genesis 8.4. And on the TV screen for my viewing audience out there, again, there's a, a map location of where Mount Ararat is located. Uh, some pictures of it today, and also some pictures of what Noah's Ark uh, may have looked like as, after he built it and the Great Flood took place. Question number nine, true or false? The Bible says, but foolish and unlearned questions Christians should discuss with each other. Well, the answer to that one is false. The Apostle Paul writes this, but foolish and unlearned questions avoid, knowing that they do gender strikes. See 2 Timothy 2.23. Question number 10. How many disciples did Jesus call to follow him? A. 7 B. 3 C. 12 or D. 2 Well, the answer there one is C. I'll see Matthew 10, 5, 6, and 7. The Bible says, These twelve Jesus sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into the city of the Samaritans enter ye not. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, and as ye go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Question number 11. How many years did the woman who had an issue of blood have until she touched the hem of Jesus' garment and was made whole. A. 7 B. 3 C. 12 or D. 2 Well, the answer to that one is C. Uh, C. Luke 8, 44 and 45. The woman who had an issue of blood before she touched the hem of Jesus' garment well, I had it was for 12 years. The Bible says, And the woman having an issue of blood 12 years, which had spent all her living upon the physicians, neither could be healed of any, uh, came behind him and touched the border of his garment, and immediately her issue of blood standed. Question number 12. True or false? Jesus said, Blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me. Well, the answer to that one is true. This saying that Jesus said can be found in Luke 6, 23. Question number 13, true or false? Jesus said, Blessed are the rich, for yours is the kingdom of God. Well, the answer to that one is false. 
Uh, see Luke 6.20. Uh, Jesus' correct words were these. Blessed are the poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Uh, Jesus spoke these words as a part of what is called the Beatitudes. Question number 14. Who was the man that Jesus called to, to for him to come down out of the sycamore tree as he was passing by? Was it to A, Pilate? B, Samson? C, Lazarus? Or D, Zacharias? Well, the answer to that one is D. See Luke 19.5. The Bible says, And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him, and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must abide in thy house. And on the TV screen for my viewing audience is a picture of what a sycamore tree looks like that uh, Zacchaeus might have climbed up into to see Jesus. Question number 15. How many churches did John the Revelator see in his vision according to the Revelation chapter 1? A. 1 B. 3 C. 7 or D. 5 Well, the answer I want to see. See Revelation 1, 20. John the Revelator saw a total of seven churches in the book of Revelation. The Bible says, The mystery of the seven stars which thou sawest in my right hand, and the seven golden sticks. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches, and the seven golden sticks which thou sawest are the seven churches. And on the TV screen for my viewing audience out there, there's a map of uh, where these churches were located that John the Revelator was describing and talking about. Question number 16. Who did Jesus take with him to watch the right raising of the dead girl who was 12 years old and the daughter of the ruler of the synagogue. Who did he take with him from the disciples to see this happen? A. Thomas, Philip, and Andrew. B. James, Judas, and Peter. C. Peter, Matthew, and Mark. Or D. Peter, James, and John. Well, the answer to that one is D. C. Mark, 537. Jesus took three of his disciples with him. These three were Peter, James, and John. The Bible says, And he permitted no one to follow him except Peter, James, and John, the brother of James. Question number 17. Who was Mary's cousin who also had conceived a son at the time, Mary was told she would give birth to the Son of God. Was it A, Martha, B, Priscilla, C, Elizabeth, or D, Ruth? Well, the answer to that one is C. C, Luke 1, 36. The Bible says, And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she hath also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month of winter that is called barren. Question number 18. Who was the person that Paul the Apostle said knew they were an expert of all customs and questions? Was it A. Felix? B. Agrippa? C. Festus? Or D, Caesar? Well, the answer to that one is B. C, Acts 26, 3. It's in the book of Acts. 
It was King Agrippa who knew all the customs and questions about the religions of the day Paul lived in. The Bible says, Paul talking to him, especially because I know thee to be expert in all customs and questions which are among the Jews. Question number 19. What was the last city Paul the Apostle lived in before his death called? A. Jerusalem B. Fair Havens C. Rome or D. Syracuse Well, the answer to that was C. It was Rome where Paul uh, last lived under house arrest before he was executed by Caesar. See Acts chapter 28. And on the TV screen again for my viewing audience is a map and location of where Rome is located. Question number 20. What is the name of the area called located in Israel during the time of Jesus which the Jews have no dealings with called? A. Palestine B. Goshen C. Samaria or D. Lebanon Well, the answer to that one is C. C. John 4.20 It was a land called Samaria uh, located in about the middle of Israel where the Jewish people avoided. Uh, but Jesus met and talked with a Samaritan woman at the well. On the TV screen for my viewing audience is a map and location of where Samaria is located. Question number 21. What was the disciple Matthew's occupation before Jesus called him into the ministry was? A. A priest. B. A fisherman. C. A winemaker. Or D. A tax collector. Well, the answer that one is D. C. Matthew 10.3. Matthew's occupation before becoming a disciple of Jesus was a tax collector. Question number 22. How many temples have been built by the Jewish people to date? This is the place that, where they had originally uh, had to uh, build so they can worship God at. Was it A7? B2, C3, or D12? The answer to that one is B. There had been a total of two temples that had been built uh, by the Jewish people. The first one was built by King Solomon uh, after his father died because uh, God would not allow David to build it because he was a man of war, a man of blood. So Solomon was the one that who uh, built the first one and was destroyed by the Babylonian army when King Nebuchadnezzar uh, conquered them and took them into exile. And the second one was built by King Herod uh, at the time the Romans uh, was um, in charge of uh, Israel and it was destroyed by the Romans in 70 AD. Here's a picture of the first Jewish temple. Here's a picture of the second Jewish temple. Question number 23. What is the name of the body of water that flows from the Sea of Galilee through the Jordan River into Kal? A. The Nile River. B. The Mediterranean Sea. C. The Dead Sea. Or D. The Red Sea. Well, the answer to that one is C. The name of the body of water that the Jordan River flows into is called the Dead Sea. And it's the Dead Sea because literally there is no life such as fish or other things that can be found living in it. And on the TV screen for my viewing audience out there is a map and location of the Dead Sea. Question number 24. Fill in the blank. Jesus said this. Blank, I leave with you, 
my blank I give unto you, not as the world give I unto you. Well, the answer is this. Jesus said, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. See John 14, 6. And finally, question number 25. The last quiz question for today's show. How many thieves were crucified with Jesus on Golgotha Hill? A. 1. B. 3. C. 2. Or D. 7. Well, the answer to that one is C. C. Mark 15. 27. There were two thieves that were crucified next to Jesus on the hill of Golgotha. One on the left and one on the right. The Bible says this. And with him they were crucified two thieves the one on the right and the one on the left. And on the TV screen for my viewing audience out there is a uh, picture of Golgotha Hill where Jesus was crucified. Well, how did my TV viewing audience do for uh, those set of questions today? Um, I hope you did all right. I hope you learned something from today's show. And if you have any questions about these questions, you can go to your ministry or church uh, and ask them about it, or your Sunday school teacher, or your deacon or elder of the church, or somebody who has studied the Bible for a long time who, know, who knows about it. You can ask them questions. I'm sure they'll be more than happy to get more information about these questions. So with that uh, today's show, I, um, I'm your host, Alan Wegener, and I hope you have a blessed day.